Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. There's a new feature in the current beta version of Photoshop that I really like. It has to do with layers and how you could view and transform layers in Photoshop. In today's video, I'm going to give you a full demonstration of this new feature. Now, if you're not familiar with the beta version of Photoshop, if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you most likely have access to and can download the current beta version of Photoshop. And all the beta version of Photoshop is, it's a newer version of, version of Photoshop that is not yet available to the general public because it most often has bugs in it, but it often has new features, such as the new feature I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. Now, if you don't know how to download the current beta version of Photoshop, Adobe has changed the download process a little bit. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you how you could access it. Now, we're going to start out, though, in the current version of Photoshop. This is not the beta version. This is Photoshop version 25.6.0. And you can see that I have an image opened up into it. And it, this image consists of four different layers. It has a background layer, and it has three other layers. Each of the other layers has a specific logo on it. So you can see that there's a Photoshop logo, a Gigapixel logo, and an on one Photo Raw 2024 logo. And all those logos are on individual layers. Now, if I go to the Move tool in Photoshop, you could hit the V key on your keyboard to go to the Move tool. You notice you have some options. You have an Auto Select checkbox, and you have this dropdown that has either Layer or Group. What we're going to be talking about in this video and these new features have to do with Layer. So you're always going to have this on Layer. Now, if you have Auto Select checked and Layer checked in the current non-beta version of Photoshop, and you click on, say, the Photoshop logo, you'll automatically jump to that layer in the Layers panel. If I click on Gigapixel logo, I'll jump to that. If I click on the On One Photo Raw logo, I'll click to that. And that behavior has been in Photoshop for some time. Now there is another checkbox here, Show Transform Controls. When that is checked, and I click on, say, the Photoshop logo, I'll get Transform Controls automatically, or Gigapixel logo, or the On One Photo Raw logo. And when you have those tr transform handles, you could just grab a handle and resize. So again, that is in the current version of Photoshop, and those features have been in Photoshop for quite some time. What Adobe has done is with the current beta version of Photoshop, which I have open now, you can see it says beta up here, they've expanded on these controls. So you can see I have the same exact image opened up in the beta version of Photoshop as the background layer, and then three other layers. Each of those layers has a different logo on it. And if I go to the Move tool, again, the V key on your keyboard is the keyboard shortcut for the Move tool. You'll notice that we have the same options, Auto Select and Layer. And when those two are active, and I click on, say, the Photoshop logo, it behaves the exact same way. I jump to that layer in the Layers panel, and like that. But where is that Show Transform Controls? Was that what it's called? Something like that? What was it called? This one, Show Transform Controls checkbox. That isn't there. It's now under this gear. So if I go to this gear, and I click it right there. Now you'll see I got the transform controls just like the previous version of Photoshop or I should say the current version of Photoshop. So nothing's changed there. What's changed though is we have three other options. For example, now we have this option show layer bounds on hover. So if I click that and have that on, if I just hover over say the Gigapixel logo, you could see that I get this light blue box around the Gigapixel logo and over in the Layers panel, I get a light blue highlight on that layer. So let's just click on the background layer so it's less confusing. And if I hover over the On One logo, you can see I get this light blue box around it. And in the Layers panel, I have that light blue highlight on that layer. And like that. So this will really help you if you have a lot of layers over here in the Layers panel. And you really don't know where a specific element is that's in the image, where it is in the Layers panel. You can just hover over it and you'll get this light blue highlight on it and you'll be able to easily find it. Now we have more options though. If I go here, we have expand layer group on click. I'm going to come back to that. But this last one, show hover bounds from layers. If I click that on, now if I go over to the layers panel and I hover over a layer, I'll get the light blue box around the element that is in the photo. So this is great if you know where the layer is, but you don't know where that element is in the image. You could hover over the specific layer and get that box, light blue box, 
around the element that's in the image. Now, what about that last option, the one I skipped? It's actually the third option, expand layer group on click. If that is not checked and you have a bunch of layers in a group, for example, I'll take these first three layers. I'll click on the first one, hold the shift key down, click on that last layer. So all three logos are in are highlighted now. And I'll go down here and I'll click this little folder. So they're all in a group or folder. And you can see they're all inside this folder. If the folder is closed and I click on, say, the Gigapixel logo, I'm on the Gigapixel logo, but this group stays closed. If instead I have this checked and I click on a logo, it will automatically open up the group and it will go right on the specific layer in the group. So that's a really cool feature as well. Now you have actually a little bit more control. Um, by default, you'll have light blue for the bounding box around the element in the image and light blue as the highlight in the layers panel. You could change those colors and you could change the width of the bounding box. To do that, you need to go to Photoshop settings. On a Mac, that's under the Photoshop menu on a PC, I believe it's under the edit menu. So you would go to settings and then you want to go down to guides, grid and slices. And when you open that, you can see right here, hover layer bounds. You can see the line color by default will be light blue and it will be one pixel. One pixel is right in the middle. You could make it thinner or thicker. Let's make it thicker and let's change the color to light red. And then the panel color, the color that shows up in the panel, let's just, for the sake of fun, change that to yellow. And we'll click OK. Now, when I hover over anything, you see I get the yellow over there on the panel. I get the yellow highlight. And now I've got a thick red bounding box around the element in the image. So if I go down and just make it less confusing by clicking on the background, if I hover over the Photoshop logo, I'll get a red bounding box around it. And over there in the layers panel, I have a yellow highlight on the specific layer so that you have control over the colors. So personally, probably would like red. I don't know. I like blue though, but I'd like two different colors. I don't think I want everything to be blue. So for my personal settings, I mean, it's just comes down to what you like. I do like the thicker um, look and I like red, but I think I'm going to change this back to light blue. That's probably what I'll like. So I could click on that and get the red bounding box. And if I hover, I get blue. That's the way I like it. Now, again, this is in the current beta version of Photoshop. I haven't really found any bugs with this. There are some other features. If you have a really complex, um, image opened up with a lot of different layers and there's a lot of different layers within layers within layers. You could find it difficult uh, because you might hover over what you think is a single element and you have like three elements in it. If you do, and I really don't have an example to show you, you would use the bracket keys on your keyboard so you could kind of drill down to the smallest element by hitting the bracket keys. So what you would do is if you had a bunch of um, elements and you really can't find the smallest element that has a layer over here because it's just buried in everything else. Just click on everything else and then hit the bracket keys, left bracket key or the right bracket key, and you'll drill down to each of the individual layers that are within other layers, and you'll be able to find that layer. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, I don't have an image that I could actually demo that uh, for you, but you could experiment with it and see uh, what you come up with. Now, I mentioned that um, the Adobe changed slightly uh, how to access the beta version of Photoshop. More specifically, they just changed the Creative Cloud app the way it looks. So to access uh, the beta version of Photoshop, open up your Creative Cloud app. By default, you'll be on this Home tab. All you need to do is go to the Apps tab. And then at the top, you can see you have all apps, photos, then Acrobat, PhD, all this stuff here. Uh, you probably will have to go to this right hand kind of arrow and go this way and just keep going till you see beta. When you see beta, click on that and you'll notice that you'll have all the beta uh, apps that you have access to, including the Photoshop beta. And from here, you, there'll be an install button. I have an open button, obviously, because I have it installed already. Just click on install and it will install it 
uh, on your computer and it can run side by side with the current version of Photoshop. As you saw, I was running them both. I am running them both at the same time. So you don't have to worry about it um, kind of overwriting your uh, current version of Photoshop or any of your settings or anything like that. So you could run this and you could um, uninstall it anytime you like as well. Click on these uh, three dots right here and you could uninstall right here. And that's it. That's the new feature that is in the current beta version of Photoshop. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.